to court a female, the small male uh, climbs up on her back and he rubs her antennae uh, with his mouth parts, releasing chemicals called pheromones. If she finds him acceptable, uh, as he's going through this, repeating the licking her antennae and releasing chemicals, when she finds him acceptable, she drops her antennae, she opens up her abdomen, and he backs up and copulates with her. So this is uh, their courtship, and different species have different courtships and different chemicals, and that determines whether a female will accept a male or not. Uh, after they finish uh, copulating, and you can see that this all happens very quickly, one male can mate with 40 females in about an hour. He goes back and does this bizarre behavior called a post-copulatory display, where he courts her again, she accepts him again, and then he eventually will just walk away. He doesn't mate with her a second time. And this has been shown to turn off the female so she won't mate with other males. Was one of the interesting aspects of the genome is that we found that many, most insects have these highly conserved chemicals called sex peptides that are used to turn off receptivity. But in uh, Nasonia, it doesn't have these sex peptides, they use this behavioral mechanism. 